Okay, start with first one. A x square plus two h x y plus b y square equal to zero. One question to you: Have you seen every term has got same degree? What is the degree of what do you call this function? Homogeneous. Homogeneous. So if it is said homogeneous, then what is divided by dx? Y by x. Y, y by x. Y. So you are going to end up d y by d x as y by x. You have to remember this. Any whenever the function has same degree, the derivative will end up in y by x. Okay, first start differentiating. Differentiate with respect to x. Come on, start doing it. A into derivative of x square plus two h into derivative of x y. plus b into derivative of y square. Please complete it yourself. Derivative of zero is zero only. I'm giving a into two x, two h into derivative of x y, x into dy by dx plus y, plus b into two y dy by dx. Now open the bracket. Actually, I've done this problem before. Anybody remember this question has been done before? Yes, sir. Yes. And any chance that you remember what was that short technique I used there after finding derivative to make it y by x? So term with all divided by dx, there are two terms with the divided by dx, they took together on the left side. Term without divided by dx on the right side, two cancels. So dy by dx became minus ax plus hy divided by hx plus by. This is equation number one. But your answer got to be y by x. Remember, I want to find the second derivative. So usually the students will find the second derivative over here. If you do that, your pages will fill and you will not get into answer. So this is a secret, a dangerous step. Okay, this dangerous step in this problem should be remembered. This question has come several times in the board exam. Danger, you mark a danger here. Do not differentiate here directly. What you do is, Make it y by x. Make d by by dx as y by x. Then only you must differentiate. Okay. So to make it y by x, what you do is take the original function. Take the original function, modify it. So middle term, you split it. I hope you are noticing. Take x common here. Take y common here. Is it okay? So x into ax plus hy is minus y into hx plus by. So ax plus hy divided by hx plus by is minus y by x. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So so when you substitute two in one, dy by dx is y by x, minus of minus local plus. Now you'll find the second derivative by differentiating this.
now the second part of it dy by dx is y by x now differentiate again with respect to x don't cross multiply directly differentiate so d2 y by dx2 is d by dx of y by x so start from the denominator x into derivative of y minus y into derivative of x upon x square now instead of dy by dx i can replace so i can write this as x into y by x minus y upon x square so y minus y upon x square that becomes zero so all the homogeneous function wherever you and dy by dx as y by x the second derivative will be zero when you see this term any any idea came into your mind when you see root of 1 minus x square root of like this comes what it what comes to your mind inverse sin inverse cos inverse uh, or you can replace x by sin theta yes sir so what you do is x cube you replace by sin a and y cube you replace by sin b what will happen a can be removed as sin inverse x cube later on b can be removed as sin inverse y cube so what this will become root of 1 minus sin square a plus root of 1 minus sin square b a into sin a minus sin b correct no this became cos a plus cos b a into sin a minus sin b now you can simplify this for further cos c plus cos t formula 2 cos a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 and this became a into 2 cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2 now if i cancel all this right so what you are left with us either you can make it tan a or cot what are you feel cot a minus b by 2 equal to a now i'm going to make a minus b as a subject because it's a constant so a minus b is 2 cot inverse a now a can be replaced by sin inverse of x cube b can be replaced by sin inverse y cube and this is a constant so when you differentiate this it becomes zero now you can differentiate it so d by dx of sin inverse x cube minus d by dx of sin inverse y cube equal to right hand side zero now just differentiate and make dy by dx subject you'll come to the answer so 1 upon root 1 minus x cube the whole square yes any problem ardik no sir no sir me i don't have space to write there so i'll write it somewhere else into derivative of x cube
So I think you got the answer. Yes. With this usually they don't ask you in the board exam. They can ask you some JE question or something like that. Okay. So just I wanted to teach you that. If I give, how do you write the derivative of f of g of x? You know that derivative of f of x is, the notation that we use is f dash x. Function is in x, derivative is also with respect to x, put a dash. What will be derivative of f of u? Function is a function of u. The u is a function of x. It will be f dash of u into the derivative of u. Do you understand this notation? Yes, so what will be the derivative of f of gx? f dash of gx into d by dx of g of x. Into d by dx of g of x. That is f dash of g of x into g dash x. Got the idea? Yes, sir. So I'm going to give you a question on this. This I was supposed to teach you before, but I skipped out this. One, one of the exercises has this type of problem. I'll just search that problem. How to find derivative of f of gx? So d by dx of f of gx is equal to f dash of g of x into derivative of g of x. So f dash of g of x when the variable of differentiation and bracket x are same, only g dash x. Now you want when x is minus one. So now I'm replacing x by minus one. Now tell me what is g of minus one? g of minus one is two. When x is minus one, g of x is two. So f dash of two, and g dash of minus one is four. Now, f, when x is two, f, f, four, f dash of two, f dash of two is minus five. That is minus 20. Have you followed this? Yes, sir. After you have calculated this, do yourself G derivative of g of g of x at x equal to 2. Please do yourself this. At x equal to minus 1. So what is the bracket of g? It's not only f of x. It is f of x minus 1. That is, instead of this place, it is f of x minus 1. So tell me the derivative. g dash f of x minus 1. Yeah. In derivative of f x minus 1. So g dash of f of x minus 1 into f dash of x. Minus one derivative is zero. Now replace all x by minus one. F of minus one, F of minus one, three. F dash of minus one, minus three g dash of 2 into minus 3. 
g dash of 2 is minus 4. This is 12. I hope you understood this. Have you followed? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. We'll stop with us today. I'll give you every day little, little assignment. How many questions can you do per day? Tell me. 